Ex-IMF chief Dominique Strauss-Kahn has told his trial for pimping in France that he is annoyed with persistent questions about his sexual practices. The one-time presidential hopeful denies helping to procure sex workers for a hotel prostitution ring. As he gave evidence for a second day of evidence, questions continued to focus on sex parties he attended in Paris, Brussels, and Washington. He told the court in Lille he was not on trial for deviant acts. Two former prostitutes who took part in the sex parties have been giving evidence at the trial, both alleging that Mr. Strauss-Kahn, widely known in France as DSK, had been rough in his behavior. Although using prostitutes is not illegal in France, supplying them or assisting in supplying them is, and the former head of the International Monetary Fund insists he was unaware that women involved in the parties were prostitutes. DSK said it was absurd to suggest that his preference for rougher sexual acts would spur him to seek out prostitutes. If found guilty, the one-time potential candidate for the French presidency could face up to 10 years in jail and a 1.5 million euros, 1.13 million pounds, fine. Carnage. One of the former prostitutes, Jade, had earlier in the day told the court that DSK had engaged in sodomy without her permission. DSK said later that he had not been aware of her objection and apologized but reminded the court that he had not been put on trial for deviant sexual acts. I'm beginning to get a little fed up, he told the court with his voice raised, when a lawyer acting for the prostitutes cross-examined him about the incident. He then remarked that it seemed odd that several people had used the word carnage in the trial in relation to the sex parties. What surprises me is that this term carnage is cropping up several times. When the same term comes up two, three, or four times, that cannot be by chance. Doesn't it seem odd that everybody's using it? On Tuesday, another woman named Maunia told the court that Mr. Strauss-Kahn had engaged her in a sexual act against nature despite her tears. Both women accept that they did not tell DSK that they were prostitutes, but argue that he would have known. Also on trial for aggravated pimping are 13 other defendants, including luxury hotel managers, a lawyer, a former police commissioner and a brothel owner nicknamed Dodo the Pimp. It is the latest sex-related allegation to trouble Mr. Strauss-Kong, who stepped down from the IMF after being accused of attempted rape by a hotel maid in New York in 2011. The case ended his political career although the charges were eventually dropped and he reached a settlement with the maid, Nafisato Diallo.